Good morning and happy Thanksgiving from Honolulu, Hawaii. And uh, today is Thanksgiving and it is a, a beach morning for us. We have a, um, a Thanksgiving luau with uh, family later. So for now we're just starting the morning off, taking it light, getting some um, some beach life in, some, some ocean breeze. And um, I got some guava nectar juice because what else would I be drinking? So, yeah, let the, let the um, festivities begin, which probably means me sleeping on the beach. But I'm here and I'm ready to enjoy it. The sun is roasting me. I gotta dip myself in the water. Yikes. The sand is cool. My wife left me. She didn't help me up or nothing. What, it's cool? It ain't really that cold though, it's all right. I tell you one thing, it's better than that Florida water. That was cold? No, the way it looked. Oh. Look at it. Oh, you can <laughs> see through it. What? I feel like you can see through that. That old, that old murky water from Florida? With sticks and vines in it? No, I feel like Florida water is pretty clear. You bring me out here to the place with the spot with the sharpest rocks under the water. <laughs> <laughs> My gosh. Yo, I'm pounding my feet every step. It's a massage. Massage? <laughs> Sheesh. Gosh. Oh. Let your feet float. I'm eight feet tall. I can't let my feet float. We should have got, look what he got. He got that little, um. Uh, what's that, that called? Float the balloon, the, the float balloon. It might float you out. No, you just use your feet and stuff to kick back. Right? <laughs> they got, um, look, they got paddle boards. We should have got a paddle board too. Go get one. I don't even know where to get it. <laughs> you right? Yeah, I'm fine. <laughs> I'm not going there. A nice background over there with the mountain in the back. <laughs> what kind of storm cloud is this? There's dark all down the middle here, but blue all around the side. On the right hand side, dark, and then on the left hand side, blue and all behind me. It's like the storm coming right down the middle. And that concludes the beach trip. It is starting to rain. So we got to, uh, we got to roll out. We got to roll out of here to get out, get away from the rain. So she spent her whole time in the ocean like a fish. She spent her whole time sleeping. Yeah. I sure did, I had a nice nap. Like a narcolep. You, you really fell asleep? Uh -huh, she was gone. All right, so back in here, figure out the afternoon. Oh yeah, Okay, headed to uh, Thanksgiving dinner luau with family. Gonna meet, uh, meet my uncle and his wife here. Dinner time. Bring your appetite, or you just having coffee. <laughs> Eight and 
four steps to the left. We'll call that a koholo, okay? Try to the music. Here, Charlie. Five, six, seven, to the right. Two, three, to the left. Two, three, to the right. Two, three, to the left. Two, three, to the right. Two, three, to the left. Two, three, to the left. Alfonga. Alfonga. The Alfonga is 100% polyester cloth bought and made in China, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> I'm just kidding. See, the alfonga was actually made out of this bush right over here. The hao tree or the wild hibiscus. We would strip off parts of the bark and use it to tie it right over here. No. Chores to our foundation. These are coconut our trees, our but there's no coconuts on them right now. many other things uh, from the roots that are buried deep below the ground all the way up to the tippity top, all those leaves and coconuts as it's well. It's November right um, now. This young so. gentleman will come and uh, maybe he'll Spider-Man his way up to the tippity top of Underneath of it, we have our banana leaves and banana stumps. Now those help seal in the heat and moisture so the meat won't get tough. They stay nice, soft, and juicy just the way we like it. And tonight, we have a special, nice, soft, juicy looking meal for all of you tonight. Beautiful. Aloha, aloha from Honolulu. Today we are going to the Ala Moana neighborhood. Um, we're going to the Ala Moana neighborhood, see some of the, um, I guess, sites you could say over there. There's a mall, a harbor, a lagoon, I believe. And um, then after that, we are going to the Kakaako neighborhood. Today is my birthday, actually. Today is my birthday. birthday. <laughs> Today is my birthday. And um, this is what I chose to do, to visit two neighborhoods. And then there's a night truck food market, but also a parade tonight. So we will um, think I lost some light here. Wait, wait. So then we'll, um, we'll see how it plays out. But that is my plan for today, to uh, visit some neighborhoods, kind of see the city. And then this weekend we'll pick up again on the nature stuff. All right, so keep watching. So it looks like this is the entrance to the park. Here, got these two um, stone um, structures or whatever and the very obvious sign that says Ala Moana Park kind of helps. So we're going here, walking around, see what we can see. And uh, I see some uh, construction first of all, but yeah, take some photos, have a good time. A mango tree that I guess, I don't think dried up or you can see one, you can see another one here. You can see some over here laying on this thing. I'm not really sure how they grow or is that dried up or is it on the way to being ripe? I don't know. It is, I mean it is November, so yeah, there you go. Check out this tree here. It's a nice tree. I'm not sure what it is, but look at uh look at all the birds underneath. What are those like? I don't know if that's a crane. I'm not sure what that is. Cranes have very long legs. Yeah, it's not a seagull either. It looks yeah. like a crane a little bit, but Definitely not a crane, but they're all under there. And then you got some roosters over there mixed in with some pigeons in the background. So you got a whole um, bird sanctuary going on right here. <laughs> okay, let's go deeper into the park. Here's that bird again up close, the white bird. I don't know what it is, I'll try to find out. Mixed with a pigeon in there. Got this bird with the red crest on it on top. Orange crest, really. I don't know what kind of bird that is. It's running though. 
Look like they got a little um, food shop over there for people's needs while they out here in the park or swimming. So up here in front of me is what appears to be a beach of some sort. I don't know if it's the lagoon I was looking for, but um, we'll find out in a moment's time. Let's, uh, I don't know which way to go. All right, still haven't figured out what this place is, but uh, this, is what it, this is what it looks like. This is what it looks like. It's pretty nice. Looks public too. No, you know, I don't see any restrictions. Got a lifeguard booth back there. Yeah. In the city right in the background. So I didn't come prepared for swimming, but I'm glad these people are having a good time. Pretty nice. So we're headed up a little farther in um Ala Ala Moana Beach Park here. They got a path leading up to that um, piece of land that's kind of sticking out into the water. So we're just walking up here trying to see what's around. Um, if I stop and swing the camera, you can see some more park area back there. <laughs> and so, um, yeah, just taking a peek around. I, I did ask somebody um, what the beach was called. They say Alamo on a beach park, so maybe not the lagoon, just Alamo on a beach. Not really sure. It can be that for now, whatever. Still like it. Just let us see what's uh, over here at the tip. So I have arrived. You can see uh, just a little bit of like, um, like benches or whatever here. People sitting here relaxing. Just kind of taking in the sights, taking in the waves over here. Um, you can see behind me, so. Yeah, just a nice relaxing spot with a little like walkway up here that people take jogs and bike ride and all of that. So yeah, it's just kind of really nice. Some trees, some park, and you got the city in the background. So there it is, that's, that's what's here. I got the family here taking a rest between stops recuperating, getting some energy back. Stopped, took a few photos, and um, now we're headed on to Magic Island Lagoon. That's what it's called, Magic Island Lagoon. And that was Ala Moana Beach. So, headed to the lagoon, see what it looks like. To my understanding, it is man-made. So, let's check it out. Magic Island Lagoon. There it is, got a little promenade around it. I walk onto the promenade. You can see they got a stone barrier back there. And a little beach area where everybody's enjoying themselves. A lifeguard post back there. And then uh, that would be the ocean behind the barrier. So here it is. Your viewing pleasure. <clears throat> it is now lunchtime. You hungry? Yeah, I can eat. She can eat, so I can eat. So it is now lunchtime, and um, we are going to go to the mall here in Alo Ala Moana. Go to the mall, find something to eat in or near the mall. Look at the mall. Maybe buy something from the mall. I don't know, but. That's where we're going now, leaving the park. As you can see, we're still in the park. This is a magnificent park, by the way. And if you want to come into the city and look around the city, yeah, uh, this is something you should right, do. Probably like there. Your hotel is probably right over there. Yeah. This is a magnificent park, though, so I definitely recommend it if you want to just go around and see the city. Um, so I guess Waikiki, sorry, um, itself, so. Yeah, on to the mall. Back out to 
Kakawa Avenue from the other night. Looking for uh, a bakery or looking for some uh, some sweets of some kind. Now it was supposed to be a parade out here, but uh, jokes on me because apparently it's not. And I chose this over the food market and another over a food market in another neighborhood. So maybe I'm just in the wrong spot. I don't know, but. Uh, you know, if we see the parade, I'll capture some of it. If not, then I'll capture some bakery. <laughs> so apparently, um, the parade was only like an hour long, I guess. Where I'm from, parades last longer than that, but uh, I guess not here. So I missed that, but I'm still going for these pastries and um, try to make the best of the night or whatever, with whatever I got left. So. That's all I can do. See this immaculate hotel here that I wish I was staying in. The Moana, Moana Surf Rider. A Western Resort and Spa. Yeah, this place is crazy. I'm a little close to it, but if you look it up online, this place is crazy. So in Hawaii, they got diagonal crossing on the street. Like this is the street, but I'm going diagonally to the street. <laughs> It was kind of throwing me off at first on another one, uh, another street earlier, but I figured I'd catch it the next time we do it. So, yeah, they got diagonal cross in here. That's just, that's a new one for me. The streets are definitely crowded, though. After the uh, parade, I guess we caught the let out, right? Yeah, definitely. <laughs> Tried to give you some parade tonight, but um, due to my oversight, that won't be happening. But I did get some pastries, some donuts, so unfortunately, this is the end of this video, but it won't be the end of my uh, feasting for the day. But I hope you enjoyed it. Just got a random knife on the ground here. What's going on? <laughs> you might have discovered a uh, uh, crime object. <laughs> <laughs>